Hello everybody, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and I am going to be tuning in here to see what do we need to know about the remainder of 2020? What sorts of energies should we be prepared for? I will be talking about that. I will let you know that if it makes you uncomfortable to watch somebody just sit here with their eyes closed and tune in for messages, maybe I'll catch you on another video, okay? I'm also going to be making a separate video because I woke up this morning and a message was coming through and I'm supposed to pass along what we have learned so far about 2020 and for us to be contemplating that part. Remember, this is just coming from a spirituality standpoint, okay? So I started off by meditating and pretty quickly I was seeing imagery and there are a couple of messages that were already coming through. I'm gonna see if there are any more that are coming up as I do this video, but there was an image of a dam that's about to break Okay, so right now it's cracked and there's a lot of water sort of leaking through, but the dam is going to burst. This begins in September. I know we're going to be having things going on here in August of 2020, but September things, um, it's weird. And, and this was a message too, where it feels like we have one foot in, in, you know, one foot in two different dimensions, right? So, or two different realities. And so on one hand, yes, there's going to be explosive events. There are going to be shocking things revealed. Um, this is the bones cracking so that they can heal properly kind of thing. And yet there is this other sort of personal revelation, revolution, you know, this sort of thing that we're trying to balance out, right? So living in two different sort of frequencies, if you want to see it that way. So... There will be things going on, obviously, in September, but we're starting to learn how to cope, right? We're learning how to level out, and we're starting to learn or realize our own power. And so it's a, it's a balancing act. That's what I want to say. So that's what came up in meditation. I'm going to tune in right now. Again, if this is weird for you, this would be the time to click off. Let's see what's going on. For the rest of 2020, if we get a message, because January 2021 feels like there's like hangover, <laughs> like hangover energy, right? So it's hanging, the stuff is continuing into January 2021, maybe even to um, the end of March of 2021, and then we'll have to pick up on the energies from there, okay? But let me just tune in here. They're really hanging around September here. But September doesn't feel, it's like cleanup time. September is cleanup time. And this is a time where people are staying very quiet. Now, listen, people love to take these messages and then stay in the human store, the ego consciousness level and say, oh, well, look, it didn't play out like that. Look, people are mad and they're screaming and hollering and they're the opposite of quiet. That's not what I mean. Remember, they're telling me about a deeper collective energy. And so I want to use the word observational, like we're observing what's unfolding. So there are going to be the quiet listeners, right? So people who are hanging back and watching what people are doing and hearing what they're saying. And, I, and as I'm about to say this next thing, I'm not trying to encourage people to jump to conclusions or try to twist something, but there is going to be I want to call it intel, right? There's going to be some energetic understanding about what's happening. And I think on a deep level for a lot of people, this awakening, and that's what it is. This awakening is incredibly, um, it takes an adjustment. It's going to take some adjusting, right? So that's why I feel like people are kind of laying low and just observing and seeing what happens next. And of course, as we said, you're going to have one foot in two different dimensions here. Yes. I always joke all the time where people are like, oh, I'm in 5D. And then I say, but you, did you levitate? You're going to be <laughs> without your body at that point. But there can be this kind of feel where we're trying to pull in more of that fifth dimensional energy, that higher self or expanded self, however you want to see that um, kind of energy in so that funneling, we're funneling it into the third dimensional reality. Okay. This is no time for someone's ego. This is no time to say, oh, I am special. I'm a light worker. I'm an empath. If you really are in tune with what that truly means, you don't need to talk about it. 
And that doesn't mean that you have to be silent all the time. But watch for people who are bragging, pretending like they're doing so much for everybody, right? Because they're gonna come up to the surface. We've said in previous videos that the third dimensional ego consciousness has sort of fried itself out. And that's what we're seeing maybe the culmination of, okay? We're seeing that right now. And so you are going to see people who are conniving. Um, it's, it's like evil has infiltrated <laughs> some people. And they're even saying right now that it's important that we not, um, as hard as this is going to be, because a lot of people have been caused a lot of pain by people who are allowing this darker, unbalanced energy into them. And they're operating from that standpoint. So it's, they're asking us to not judge the person, but just realize, have a deeper understanding of what's going on here. There are control mechanisms. There are things, there's like a liquid that has, gosh, this is gonna sound really crazy. A liquid that has an intelligence. And then we're getting bombarded from the sky, from the water, from the earth, not by Gaia, but by things that have been injected into Gaia or put into Gaia, okay? And we're, it's all coming at us at once. So September is this time, the energy at least. Remember, I don't get big into predictions because they can change, right? But when I open up and I ask, you know, angels and archangels, what do we need to know? Here it is, okay? Here it is. It's sort of a numbness, okay? There's sort of a numb feeling about this. And remember, we're bringing some of that 5D energy in so that we can help out the third dimensional realm. There's some bit of maybe trying to help the people who were maybe caught unaware helping people who have kind of been caught in the crossfire. We have to watch our judgments, you know, and, and watch where we focus our energy. So let's go down this road. If you are somebody who's constantly always just trying to be right and your sense of self-esteem comes from, ha I knew it. I knew the backstory. I knew all the secrets. We see a lot of people doing that and that is so toxic and we don't need it. We don't need it. Let's talk October. So there's September, which is sort of numbed out and then October dips down. And I'll be honest with you, when I was tuning in, it felt like there was only three months left of the year. Isn't that weird? I'm recording this in August. And I was like, wait, where's October? And it was like hidden, like way down as I was visualizing this, it was like dipped down. And I don't know how to take that. I didn't get much more information on that. Are you guys gonna give me some now? Laying low time, laying low time. You're gonna see people acting like children, like adults acting like children, <laughs> right? Because they're trying to recapture their innocence. This has a recovery feel about it as well. And it's like a cancer has been removed. So yes, this could be the deepest, darkest things that I know a lot of you have been mentioning. You know, when I'm sitting in front of the camera, I have to be careful with my words because then my stuff might get blocked or removed or whatever, okay? Someone asked me that and I don't think I ever got around to answering it. So I do apologize. Someone's like, why do you speak so vaguely? <laughs> That's why, um, because there are a lot of funny things going on with YouTube right now. And I don't know that it's, you know, the people that work at YouTube necessarily. I don't know, I'm not in that, but um, it is kind of funny that things are sort of getting censored. Okay, uh, so it's like a cancer gets removed and they're giving me this, this imagery of someone recovering like as if, not this does not mean literally, okay, this is metaphorical, but as if we just went through a huge operation collectively and now we're just laying low and trying to recover. Now part of that recovery is bringing the innocence back. So this is a big time, time's not linear. Okay, so as I say, September, October, you know, this is just my human way of trying to put it, um, but it could shift and change and move and, you know, all that good stuff. So this might be a time where you find people like huge things are going on in the world 
and people are like, let's, let's go play. Let's go play in the leaves, at least here in the Northern Hemisphere, right? Let's go play in the leaves. Let's go uh, for a beautiful hike and enjoy this. It's almost like people, as I said, we're balancing. We're in this world and we're in, the, in this world as well. But people are sort of zoning out a little bit, tuning out a little bit, and trying to reconnect. So there is sort of this feeling here. My eye is switching as I, <laughs> as I say this, and I just started. Um, but this is that feeling where people are trying to, they're, they're going into panic mode. But so far were they, almost, like shock, almost like in shock. Now, again, let's not get hung up on what's going on on the surface. Yes, it'll be important to keep, make sure everyone is getting the care and the love that they need. But again, I have to keep reminding you, we're talking about a deeper energy here. We're talking about this deeper energy that is sort of like, okay, I got to go into lockdown in my own internal world so that I can process what's been happening here. Okay, does that make sense? So people just doing anything they can to have fun and to enjoy. And it's sort of, I wonder if, hmm, I wonder if maybe things start to get back into full swing. And so that dip is sort of like, oh, let's just go have fun while we can. Because by November, the trouble is back. The trouble is back. I've been saying before, I don't know if there's some new illness that pops up. I don't want to get controversial here, okay? But there's an effect from the remedy, okay? There's an effect from the remedy. I also said, well, let me finish this thought first. So I was saying that um, there could either be a whole new illness coming up or um, something, something, right? Something mutates. Um, but then I just heard that there's like another illness from the remedy. <sighs> We're going to be in a lot of different directions here. And get ready for that feeling of, I don't know what to believe. And this is why people probably zone out a little bit and say, I can't even look at this anymore. There's a lot of saying, I need to get back to my life. I need to get back to my life. People completely closing down. Now, in the U.S., we do have election time. There are lots of great astrologers. I don't practice astrology, but I, I follow it and I have a lot of respect for it. Um, and, and there are lots of astrologers out there doing their reads using their tools. And so it's been interesting because um, the last election, I felt like we weren't going to have a president. And then there was the whole shakeup around that. And then this feels like blank. It feels blank. So I don't know how to interpret that. Again, are we not going to have a president? <laughs> are we not? Like what happens? Everything kind of gets put on hold and, and, and frozen in time. Like everything just kind of freezes in time. There's a message here too. I'm not well versed on this. I don't really know how this goes. But our understanding of time, our understanding of our own frequencies and how our frequencies are part of the collective for the earth frequencies. We're in a time... We're in a time shift, okay? We're in a time shift. This part's cool, okay? <laughs> this part's cool. I am kind of being careful about what I say because I don't want, remember, I'm working with my own ego consciousness. I'm working with everybody else, whoever's watching this, their ego consciousness. If I don't say it just right, some people are going to get turned off and they're not going to listen. But if you know, you know, right? So you know what I'm talking about here. But dimensions, crossing dimensions, time bending, okay? Time kind of doing this little weird thing, um, which I brought up in uh, a weekly a while ago. <sighs> time bending. Fractals? Fractals? I don't know. I don't know what that is. I'm hearing groundbreaking. Earth shattering. Now, that could be earth-shattering news. That could be earth-shattering events. The people who have left their consciousness, their body, their wavelengths, however you want to see that, 
wide open for darkness to come in. They're going to kind of like collect over here. And they're going to be fighting one another. And then there's going to be everybody else who's standing back trying to be like the observer again. So some of that carryover energy. But I see people sh like uh, sort of like putting, I was going to say sheltering their children, but trying to shield is the word. Um, trying to shield their children and running away. We're going to see a manifestation of evil. <sighs> but I don't, and I'm being instructed to not put fear. So I'm going to lay it on the table. Now, if you're one of those people that just wants to argue all the time, how can you lay that on us and then say you're not trying to spread fear? I'm doing the best I can here. All right. There are going to be things happening. It's going to be up to you to work on your own energy. It's not up to everybody else. Okay. I can only give it to you the way it's coming in. And I'm speaking directly to those people because I don't want you turning away. Please stop throwing a fit and turning away. Because you know what? You might be one of those people that turns to like, you know, run away from the storm or run away from the message and you run right into the storm. And you could be very deeply affected. Please don't run away. And that means running away in your intellect too. Because everybody's trying to make everything logistical. Don't you know by now that this stuff don't make sense? Okay. <laughs> Like spiritual stuff is, is like, you know, I mean, you can't, it's hard. It's not tangible really. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, so we're just doing the best we can over here. So November is going to be chaos, chaos. Now how that plays out. Yes. There are those surface level things that could be very, very obvious. Um, but there could be personal chaos as well. <laughs> awesome. My birthday's in November. Can't wait for that one. <laughs> I might just like get a cake and sit at home. Okay. Maybe I'll go live with you guys and we'll just have a little celebration like that. Cause I ain't going nowhere. All right. <laughs> it seems like it's going to be too crazy. And then we get into December. Somber. I heard somber, but here's why it's somber. Yes. There's things going on in the world. One thing after another, and everybody's having to contend with something. And it does feel like health is a huge issue as well. Um, ramifications. Uh, I started to bring this up in the beginning of the video. I said when all this stuff started happening with the illness, right? I was like, we're all overusing these disinfectants now. And that's going to end up leading to pollution. Um, there have been things like we can't reuse grocery bags. At least here we're not. We're not allowed to. So we have to just keep getting the plastic and all of that. I feel like our immune system has taken a hit, right? And what's more is now we have polluted our bodies and the earth with all these chemicals that were meant to be disinfectants. Which at the time I said, you know, maybe that's a day two kind of problem. Because in the moment we were like, okay, well, we got to figure something out. <laughs> we got to do something, right? Um... But yes, December feels very somber. You are in charge of creating your own happiness. If people start falling into sadness, it's a world in turmoil because we're healing. It doesn't seem like it, but we are. This will flow right over into January, 2021. Most likely, again, remember, you know, the collective energy could change. Your individual energy could change. Your perspective could change. You know, there is a lot of potential here where we could crack open and start taking that turn and bringing in the light. And that's really what it is. We all need to be focused on bringing in the light into ourselves, asking it for the world. I always ask you guys to please remember children in your prayers and don't do it from a pleading place, but more thank you for protecting the children and restoring everyone's innocence. Let that be a daily prayer for you. 
of course, things are going to be revealed. Of course, they're going to be mind-blowing. There's going to be anger. There's going to be people acting out. There are going to be things man-made that start crumbling down. There are going to be natural disasters. And what we're being asked to do, because the, the message here is like, yeah, that's going to happen. We told you that. Because the revolt needs to happen here. Now, I don't mean that from like a governmental standpoint. Remember, we're talking spiritually. So there's a sort of waking up and going, no. Okay, and there's a turnover. And so we are turning over. <laughs> yes, and we need some space to do that. So if you're one of those people who is really dependent on outside circumstances making you feel good, you're in trouble. We're learning to create our own happiness. And that sort of, uh, like I said, that, that January time where it's just sort of, you know, people just are still kind of in shock, maybe. And there are going to be people who don't adjust very well. And that's okay. But really, we need to be hanging on to understanding and, let me say, committing to understanding our internal selves. Connecting the head and the heart. Opening that heart. Bringing the light. They are saying help is on the way. We heard that a while ago. There has been lots of help coming in. Okay. Uh, lots of spirit guides and, and all of that. Um, the army of angels, they're here. They've been here. I'll say that again. The army of angels, they're here. It's here. Don't let the ego get in the way. Let's not be too human about this and go, oh, I know what that means. Right? Start twisting it around. None of us know what this means. None of us have ever experienced any of this ever. That's why we are the hot show right now. Okay. We definitely are because this has been an experiment. And now we're coming to a very important place in that experiment. And we all chose to take on this mission in our vessels and to be dealing with this. Let me come back around, say once more, if you are somebody who just hangs on to the third dimensional ego consciousness reality, you're going to have a bad time. And what's more, you might be slowing up the process of our evolution. Leave your comments down below. If you have any further questions, if I can tune in and get an answer for you, I will. Um, and we'll just take it from there. Remember, this is a community of love here. And we can be here for one another. All right? Let me know what your questions are. Sending you all so much love and take care.